Hello, my name is Dr. Patricia Ann Dorsey. I am seeking re-election to the Carroll County Board of Education. It has been an honor to serve the students, families, staff, and communities of Carroll County as a member of the Board of Education during the 2018 to 2022 term. My education and career experiences prepared me to serve. I received a Bachelor of Science degree from Morgan State College, now Morgan State University, a Master's degree from Western Maryland College, now McDaniel College, and a Doctor of Education degree from the University of Maryland College Park. My teaching career began as a third grade classroom teacher at William Winchester Elementary School and continued at Westminster Elementary School. I later served as a Title I resource teacher and was responsible for providing professional development to Title I staff. My career continued as an assistant principal of Eldersburg Elementary and then principal of several schools, Tawnytown, William Winchester, and Friendship Valley Elementary Schools. My entire 39-year career was in Carroll County Public Schools. Over the last four years, I gained additional experiences by serving on the 2021 and 2022 Board of Directors for the Maryland Association of Boards of Education, known as MABE. I have been a member of MABE's Conference Program Committee from 2018 to the present and MABE's Equity Committee from 2019 to the present. This year, I will serve as co-chair of MABE's Conference Program Committee. During my term on the Board of Education, there are two major capital projects under construction, namely the Career and Technology Center improvements, which are expected to be completed in July 2024, and the Westminster East Middle School replacement, which is scheduled to be completed before the opening of school in the fall of 2023. Who would have ever imagined the emergence of a worldwide pandemic that had such a profound impact on our lives? Our students faced a learning loss because of the disruption of face-to-face -face learning. The pandemic also intensified mental health issues. Our staff faced added pressure by the lingering effects of the pandemic and having to pivot to and from remote instruction. Parents have also been challenged by new and different ways to support their children academically and emotionally during the pandemic. I remain grateful to everyone who turned the challenges of the pandemic into opportunities. Moving forward, I am committed to the following priority issues. Number one, to ensure that all students are provided multiple pathways and opportunities for success. Each student will receive the resources needed to be prepared for life after high school. I quote from MABE, for MABE, educational equity in Maryland means providing access to essential academic, social, emotional, and economic supports in order to engage each student in rigorous instruction with appropriate educational resources to achieve their potential, unquote. This belief is also shared by the National School Board Association. So our board must focus on student achievement and continuous growth and improvement because that is the primary mission of all school boards. Number two, to retain and recruit quality teachers and staff to enhance a diverse workforce. The goal is to create and sustain staff that reflects the racial and ethnic makeup of the student body. Three, to provide competitive salaries. I will address this with the next issue, which is four, to support implementation of the Blueprint for Maryland's Future Act. One area that I find very motivating is high quality and diverse teachers and leaders. The goal is to make teaching a high status profession by raising the pay and status of teachers. The Blueprint codifies new statewide systems of compensation and increases per pupil funding. Collective bargaining will continue to be at the system level and we will work hard at that. Leadership matters. I possess the essential skills and background necessary to fulfill the governance duties as a member of the Board of Education. Please vote for Patricia Ann Dorsey to have a second term to serve the students, staff, and communities of Carroll County. Your support is deeply appreciated. Thank you.